Hi, how are you? <laughs> I don't really know how to start a video because this is kind of my first one but I decided to record this just because today is December 24th and I, I was wanting to make something to my girlfriend for Christmas, of course and I was searching the internet to look for any projects and I found a very interesting one called Lovebox from Juslia. I'll let her GitHub linked in the description. But the problem is that I couldn't find any good videos or information sources other than her GitHub uh, about it. I decided to record this. So I would show this, this project to you guys. I'm thinking about doing the first video just to show and talk about it and the uh, next ones to talk about the hardware and software of it. So let's go. Firstly, I'm going to show you guys uh, how I, I did it. So this is the love box. Uh, it's composed of a micro microcontroller uh, which is a Wemos D1 Mini Pro that will access a GIST file where I will put a text or image to be shown on the love box at this display here I waited for it to focus so basically when the microcontroller detects the new message it gets it from the GIST file and alerts the person that has the love box to take a look at it on the display and it, it alerts from the uh, servo motor servo yeah <laughs> uh, that turns this little heart and these two LEDs which is, are just like basic um, New pixel normal RGB LEDs. Uh, so then, when the person, in this case my girlfriend, comes and opens the box, uh, this light diode sensor detects the light that is being flooded at the box, and then this message is displayed in here. I actually wanted to do it with a battery pack but there wasn't enough space uh, even after I, I modified the 3D files so you have to connect it with this power, <laughs> power source and I painted it just why not and there is a initial message uh, probably the display is flickering because it's normal but this is like the default message uh, which appears in here and then when I access the GIST file in a matter of I don't know two or three minutes the the new message is detected in here and it appears okay so I just updated the GIST file and now we have to wait for the message to arrive here uh, and then the user will be alerted that a new message is incoming because of the servo and the lights uh, that start to flicker and move you know <laughs> uh, and the only bad thing that I would like to change on this project is how much time it takes for the message from being written to arrive here I really was thinking about how I could improve this time but then I I just realized that the idea was to be able to connect with whoever is using it like from long distances on a more physical way really uh, okay so the message just arrived and as you can see the servo spins and there's a little really cute actor uh, because of the lead that just opens a little bit 
to <laughs> to call attention. Um, but yeah, uh, and the RGB lights just keep doing the like sort of chroma rainbow effect, and I think it's really cool because of the acrylic uh, side at the bottom. Uh, and sorry for the, the noise because it's from the servo, but it's a little bit annoying. But, but yeah, it's cute. So let's just open the lid up and see the message in here. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this is the message which I just updated and. Uh, when I put the lid back on uh, and open it again, the message just disappears and it comes back to the normal state of the box. So, so yeah, I think it's a really cool project uh, for Valentine's Day or just for someone special to you. So yeah, so a big thanks to Juzia for making this project possible. Uh, I will just let her GitHub at the description. And I'll probably do a fork of mine and put there too because uh, I modified her SVG files. Uh, at the next videos I will talk a little bit more in depth about the hardware and software of the whole thing for those that are interested on trying to do their own yeah any questions you can leave at the description uh, and thank you